Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are making our way back to the trader. Uh, in the last episode, we did the coal mine, and then I just about bought the farm on the way back, as you guys saw in the intro <laughs> to the video. I had a, a dire wolf just like all of a sudden there he was, and then a crawler, you know, whacked me in the leg on top of that. And I got uh, fatigued on top of that. So, yeah, joy, huh? Uh, but we did make it back in one piece. And uh, I was able to actually harvest uh, the meat and stuff off of the dire wolf. And so that's good. Um, and the trader is going to open up here pretty quick. Okay, let's talk to Hugh. Looking for something special. Um, we are... Ooh, what does this do? 10% more... Than, yeah, that was a good one, but 120 shotgun shells. I mean, by the time we find a shotgun and a hunting rifle or an AK, we're going to have some a nice little supply of ammo. Uh, all right, let's take a look at your inventory... Uh, I'm just going to sell these for now. They're just not doing us any good for the moment. I'm keeping all the armor until we assemble our armor set. Um, and then whatever's left over, we'll probably repair and sell because we'll make some decent money uh, uh, in doing that. Okay. Don't really have anything else I want to sell to him. I want to keep all the rest of this. Let's go ahead and see what his next job is. Do the math. Okay, we got a fetch that's only 279 from here. That's really close. Actually, all of these are really close. Um, I don't want to do a bear supply, so yeah. For you. House construction 01. Let's just end is that the one with the bear down below? <laughs> if it is, that's going to be interesting. Uh, we haven't checked our, our forge for a while. We've got a bunch of um, brass that needs to be smelted. So let's get that going. Maybe put about that much wood in there. I have some brass back at the base, too, that I need to bring over here. And, let's see, we have 260 iron in here. How are we doing on crossbow bolts? We're doing pretty good. So let's make some more forged iron, because we're going to need that for the mini bike. We're going to need it to make some repair kits and that sort of thing. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is go back to the house, do some inventory management as usual, and then uh, we'll probably go ahead and head off to our next quest. So I will see you at that quest location. All right, guys, we are at the quest location, and I'm kind of surprised that this is a tier one. This is kind of a hard POI to do, at least, you know, for a tier one. Um, it's, a little, it's larger than it appears, and it's got a bunch of construction workers inside, which are, you know, they're pretty tough to kill because they're w well armored. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm tempted to to uh, pause for a moment, pause the video for you guys, and actually harvest some of this stuff up, because then it'll respawn and then we can harvest it again. I might do that. Um, either that or maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll go uh, into high speed mode. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to set down a chest for all the stuff. Let's put it over here by the tree. Okay, well, yeah, let's go ahead and harvest up these resources first uh, before we start the quest. Expecting that to happen.
right, guys. So we got all the resources in the house. There's still uh, the resources outside that I want to get, but let's go ahead and check the loot. And then I'll go back upstairs, harvest the rest of the resources outside, and then we'll start the quest for real. Oh, nice. Okay. Don't we already have one of those, though? That's right. It's good to have a couple of couple of those. So uh, We've got an ammo pile here. Okay, let's scrap that. Take the crossbow bolts. Oh, well, sure, we'll take some bones. A couple of working stiffs. Uh, maybe we'll luck out and find a vitamin in the, this little medical pile, because um, that's the only way I'm going to get rid of that fatigue. It's affecting our maximum health cap, which is not good. No, nope. no vitamins in there. Those are nice. The rest of this stuff we can just scrap because it's not going to be any better than what we have. And what do we have in here? Nice and nice. Too bad we couldn't get a frickin' uh, bellows, but they're a lot harder to find. Oh, very good. And we have our first armor pocket mod, too. Okay, we don't care about those. 14 blunderbuss. That'll just about make up for everything we shot up trying to get in here. <laughs> uh, and then we have some more ammo here, too. Okay, good deal. So let's uh, sort that out. That completely fills us up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah. All right, what I'm going to do is go back upstairs and, like I said, uh, get the rest of the... Um, we'll take both of those things, except for... Here, we'll scrap that, and we'll take this in place of the jars. Uh, I'll get the rest of those resources harvested up, and then... Um, We'll start the quest for real, so I will bring you back as soon as we're ready to actually start the quest. All right, guys. I think I'm going to um, actually run back home since it's not far away from here at all, um, because I am uh, I'm hungry. I don't have any food with me, but um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull all of that into there, and I might even just try and hoof it back. Oh, you know what? Hell, let's just take this. Uh, but anyway, this is the resources that we pulled out of this place. So we pulled 1,300 cement, uh, 900 cobble. Uh, I had some stone with me already, but I, we, I'm sure we pulled probably close to 1,000 stone out of there. 29 paper, 23 plastic, and um, I think that's mostly it. So that's not too bad, really. But I'll tell you what, man. I don't, I don't think this should be a Tier 1 house. That is not an easy POI to do at this stage in the game. Uh, I would definitely have guessed that that was a Tier 2 if you would have asked me before I knew, you know, that it's assigned to Tier 1. But anyway, um, let me go back and drop all the stuff off and get our food uh, topped back off. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll do the quest for realsies. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start the quest for real. I'm not going to harvest resources uh, this time through. Uh, but the reason I did it first is now I have the option of coming back and doing it again later off camera. Uh, also, we got a point too, and um, so we can now make the mini bike. Let's see, we want Grease Monkey level two. Uh, so I will work on getting that going um, after uh, we get this quest done. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. So, yep, yeah, all the resources respawn, and we can come back later and get them again if we want to. All right, let's do this. We had a Zeke right there the last time, but unless he's hiding behind the thing, I don't see him. Nope. No Zeke or Ruski there. Let's get this on our toolbar. And let's also get... Oh, we can scrap that. Uh... Yeah, let's get that on the toolbar. <clears throat> Excuse me for the moment, too. Okay, I just want to block that off for a second. We'll take those things. Okay, there's a sleeper somewhere. I'm just not sure where they are. What if we pop a hole through here? Okay, they're not in the kitchen. Don't care about that. This is probably just going to be 
something stupid like a cabinet or a stove, but let's check it anyway, because you never know. Okay. Toilet pistol? Nope, no toilet pistol. Okay, well, um, let's very cautiously advance. We don't need to worry about anything coming from that direction. Ah, the stupid lighting kicks in now. Let's put a, a torch up. All right, what I'd like to do is make a little noise and see if we can figure out where this first sleeper is. Noise, make a noise. Hello? There we go. Okay, he's right there. Back over here, man. There you go. Nope, over here. <laughs> there we go. I think we took out his teeth on that one. Come on, stamina. I swear, man, our very next point is going to be sexy tea. There's usually a Zeke in that room and they can bust right through the wall, which is total hacks. Maybe we can do something about it from this angle. Okay. I think there's no more Zika Riskies upstairs. Unless I'm wrong. If I am, then we'll have to deal with it. Okay, that guy's still there like he was before. Um, let's see. How do we want to deal with this? Last time I just put some blocks across. You know what I think we're going to do is we're going to run back up through here and just go into the kitchen and block the door. It's going to be the easiest thing to do. Let's even put a door here just so we can quickly close it behind us and then block it off with a frame. Hello. Hola. That'll get their attention. Whoa, shit! Oh, I was still crouched. I, I, I couldn't figure out why I was going so damn slow. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of Zika Ruskies. I think we might end up having to um, just blunderbuss all these guys. Oh, okay. Too many things for the old brain to remember. Let's get reloaded here before we do anything else. Make sure it fully loads. All right. So, um, our satchel. Oh, our satchel's right there. Look at that. <laughs> okay, we got that done. So we should be clear in here now. I think we got the attention of the Zico, Zico's in there, too. I hope so. Yeah, I, I think this place is a little bit on the difficult side for a Tier 1. If you ask me. At least it is when you play on a Nightmare Insane. Uh, yeah, we could go ahead and take those, and we'll just scrap those. Are we uh, game stage 12 yet? Oh, we are. Okay, cool. So we're going to start seeing, uh, you know, double barrel shotguns and pistols. And as soon as we get one or the other, then we're going to go full on armor. Get, get out of the blunderbuss age. Um, we could still stand to eat, so we might as well and save ourselves an inventory slot. We don't need that. We don't even really need that either. We got plenty of paper. Okay. So, I 
let's go around here and like we did before we'll just kind of do a temporary blockage of the basement I do want to grab this for sure Can't pass up a brass faucet not in this game okay another wrench the next um oh good let's see can we wear this Oh, we have the college jacket on. Okay, I'd rather wear the college jacket. Um, you know what? Actually, I might have lied to you guys. I think the next point we should probably take is... Well, probably the next two points will be to get to Tinkerer so we can actually make a workbench. Now, we do have that a working workbench all the way back at New Hope Faith Camp Place, but that's kind of a long walk however we're going to be able to walk there and make the mini bike in that workbench faster than we're going to be able to get to tinkerer too so i'll probably just prepare all of the uh ingredients if you will the parts and then walk over there uh, to make our uh, first workbench now we're we're bringing in a little bit of food here it's always a good thing check the refrigerator okay now for the hard part now for the hard part. Um, what I ended up doing before is we kind of got them grouped up here and I was just able to drop bombs on their head. So maybe we'll try and do that same strategy again because it seemed to work pretty well. How is it that my two torches are still there? Those should have reset when we reset the base. That's weird. Okay, let's try something here. Let's get this busted out. We didn't wake all of them up. Only the, only the one dude. What I'm probably just going to do is shoot him through the frames with the blunder, and that will probably wake the other ones up too, and then we can dispatch them as well. There they are. Okay, let's get our, our pipe bombs. Throw a couple down there. Oh shit! <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, it worked though! <laughs> it blew right through the stairs and got him. Okay. Okay. I planned it that way, actually. And if you'll buy that, right? Uh, okay, cool. That, well, that worked out. That should, um, complete the Zeekers down here, I think. Um, so let's just pop through here. Alright, let's check the loots and then we gotta wrap up this episode. Come on, working stiffs, give us something good. We need, we need a fire axe. Um, okay, well, we'll take that stuff. There was ammo, an ammo pile back here last time. I think there was a backpack down there, and we probably blew it up. But that's right. Backpacks don't usually have anything good in them anyways. Shotgun Messiah crate. Come on, give us a double barrel or a 9 mil. I'll take either one. Probably prefer the shoddy, but I'll take the 9 too. We've got plenty of ammo for both. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Another fucking blunderbuss. What the hell? Come on, game. We're supposed to be getting into shotguns now. Ugh. Well, a little upgrade for our Axaruski. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. All right, let's check this. Some shoddy shells. How about some vitamins? Nope. We got another uh, uh, steroids, though. Okay, here we go. Here's the fat loots. Got some iron boots and a grave digger mod. Okay, that stuff doesn't suck, but 
I really want a gun. Like, really. Ah, oh, okay. We can scrap those. And we gotta make room for four things. And because we're completely full, or almost completely full, we're just gonna go ahead and pop another uh, one of these so we can get home. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Uh, I'm just mildly disappointed that we didn't find a double barrel or a nine mil in there, but you know, we'll, we'll come across one eventually. Uh, I might come back here later off camera at some point in the future and harvest more of these resources, but that's not something I'm planning on doing uh, right away. Let's get some light out here. It's really dark. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.